Welcome back. You are watching My Air Miles, and in this quick DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the green screen using the chroma key tools in DaVinci Resolve. It's actually quite easy, and if you follow these steps, you'll have professional looking results in a matter of minutes. So, what you can see on the screen here is what I would call a sort of ideal input footage, where you've got the talent in the middle wearing colors that are different from the background, that's ideal. And the green screen behind it is well lit, so there's a small number of differences in the color of green. If you have any shadows introduced, they're minimal, and it's a fairly well lit, good input source. Now, we all know that in the real world, it's very difficult often to get a perfect input source like this. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna use one that's a bit more real world and I'm actually gonna use this. So here you can see, we've zoomed out from the green screen, you can see some of the clutter that's around it in the room. You can see that the green screen isn't particularly well lit and there's a range of different colors of green going on there. So it's gonna be a bit of a harder job, but I'm still gonna show you that it's relatively easy to do in DaVinci Resolve just following these simple steps. Let's jump straight into it. What you want to do is you want to click on the color tab at the bottom of DaVinci Resolve and you want to set up a window around the green screen. That just cuts out all the other clutter from the video and allows you to focus just on the area you want to actually remove, which is the green screen. You can't remove anything else, so you may as well just focus on that. So, to do that, come in here and select the Window tab at the top here and select Linear. That will give you a sort of box that you want to expand out first, just expand it out kind of roughly and then once you do that, you want to try and bring in a precision point for each corner. So if you zoom in, scrolling up on the mouse, you can then scroll up by holding in Shift, and you can scroll across by holding in Alt, and you drag those corners down to the corner of your green screen. And this just cuts out any part of the video that you don't want to be there, which is anything that's outside of the green screen. So we'll just go ahead and drag this in here. And finally, put this one down to there. Try not to cut off her head too much. And we go back to fit. How does that look? That's pretty good. So the next thing I'd recommend is turning this softness down to zero. If you don't turn the softness down to zero, what you'll end up is like a window box in your final edit and you really don't want that. So set the softness to zero and it will give a smooth layer on top of your first track with this second track, which is your green screen track. The next thing you want to do is right click in the node area and go to add alpha output, which creates this blue alpha output here and extend the blue output from your node to the alpha output. That's important to tell it that you want it to output the alpha and not the raw footage. Still with me? Okay, great. Next, go to the qualifier tool, which is just to the left of the window tool. Select the drop down and go to 3D. Then you want to select the plus uh, color selector. So now you can draw lines around your talent. And literally, just do that. Just draw lines around your talent. And what this is doing is it's sampling the green. And whenever you see sort of dirty green, make sure you put a sample in there to capture that. Once you've got a fairly good sample, click on the, what I call the magic wand highlight tool. And then you want to click on this swap tool or invert tool to see what you'll get as your alpha output. And you can keep drawing lines. So again, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to press shift to move the pitch up a bit. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select this green in here. Select some green in there in our ears. Try not to count too much because we can do a bit of cleanup later, right? So that's pretty good. Um, one thing I might do is just cut out this green in her shoulder here. If that doesn't take away too much or make her transparent. So once you're happy that you've got most of the green selected, now you want to go and do some cleanup just to make it that little bit more professional looking. 
So click on the black white balance and take a good look in here for any dirt. You're really looking for noise. So you zoom in, you can see all this noise and you go to clean white and just bring that up a little bit till the white looks clean. It's pretty good looking to me. And what I'll do then is I'll swap it back and I'll look at the black. Again, zooming in to see there's a little bit of, of dirt there so I can clean that up. That's looking pretty good. Okay. So the final thing that you might want to do is put on despill. Knock this out, flip that back, and you'll see that you've got I would say a fairly good green screen chroma key edit there. So here's your finished product. What's going to come out of your alpha channel. So depending on how you've lit your scene, and as I said, this is a poorly lit scene, you're probably going to have different greens that are picked up that haven't been picked up by a qualifier. So you do want to scrub through so that you don't accidentally have some green creeping in to your video. And, oh, look at this. See, there's a good example. And you want to just start qualifying that out. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's go back to our edit page and make this video a little bit smaller and put it over to the right here. Because what we're now going to do is we're going to reveal what's behind this. This video is Daniela playing Beat Saber for the first time. And we've put her on top of the song she was playing. So let's see how this looks. So yeah, I would say I'm happy with that result, and I hope you are too. Just a quick recap, so to make this work, if you've got a cluttered and poorly lit green screen, you want to create the window around the green screen to focus the area that you want the alpha output to have. You want to create the alpha output channel and link the output from the node to that channel, and then you want to use the qualifier to qualify out the greens. And don't forget to scrub through your video to make sure that you grab all of the greens that you might miss as the shadows change throughout the video. And it's always useful to go and use the black and white filter as well to clean the whites and clean the blacks. I hope this helped you. If it did, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.